the early 1960s. Your attention, please. Americans, not the dawn of a new this decade. Is a red alert. The fear of nuclear war. Nearest shelter area. Would soon drive some underground. If you built a shelter, you became the man of reason, the man who was protecting his family and doing his civic duty. Today, you may be able to dig up this chapter of American history. We're standing in uh, my fallout shelter in, in the backyard of my house. But in September 1961, the possibility of nuclear war wasn't something that could be ignored. In 1961, the tensions between the former Soviet Union and the United States had escalated. How to Survive Fallout, delivered to mailboxes across the country, illustrated on the pages of Life magazine with a letter from President John F. Kennedy. The security of our country and the peace of the world are the objectives of our policy. But in these dangerous days, when both objectives are threatened, we must prepare for all eventualities. It wasn't the first time Americans were introduced to fallout shelters. And it wouldn't be the last. How-to guides and emergency supplies from the Cold War era now on display in the Tucson home of John Sims. The rural Metro fire captain amassed a collection of civil defense artifacts after discovering his own artifact two years ago. I kind of thought it might have been a real cheap job, like a you know storm drain just thrown into the into the yard with a little bit of the steps or something. But it turned out to be a lot cooler than that. Decades before Sims rebuilt the staircase. The old Pueblo played a pivotal role during the Cold War. To learn more about that, we went underground and back in time to a National Historic Landmark. Yvonne Morris is the director of the Titan Missile Museum in Sao Rita and was a U.S. Air Force officer in the 80s. She was part of the crew that would have launched the missile if ordered to do so. We existed to prevent World War III from ever happening. And in order to do that, you have to project a credible threat. At 103 feet tall, the Titan II could decimate an area of 900 square miles, and there were 18 of them around Tucson. Operational from 1963 to 1987, the mission was peace through deterrence. With the turn of a key, it was capable of launching within 58 seconds. Now though, the launch sequence is just a simulation, and the Titan II has a new mission, once top secret, you can see it up close and learn about its part in the Cold War. The nuclear Not war so many had feared never this happened. Family. I'm getting no reading on the Geiger counter. I think everything is fine. Once a way to shield your family from radioactive fallout, the underground shelters of America, relics of our past. A lot of people said I should turn it into a wine cellar or a cigar bar or I thought it would be cool to, to host some poker games down here. I think it would be a unique buy-in. Everything looks good, dear. It's been said only about 3% of the American population built their own fallout shelters. Would they have actually worked? What influenced a lot of people about whether to build a shelter is, okay, well, if we're in all-out war with the Soviet Union, what kind of a world am I going to exit to in a couple of weeks? And is that a world I want to live in? No one ever had to find out. Life went on, but not quite like it did on the pages of life. Whitney Clark, Kiga 9, on your side.